Do you know the story of the timber wolf and the trained bear? I am so glad you brought that up because let me tell you, it's not real. Are you kidding um, me? Look, I we have got such a great place to start today because we are about to celebrate our 100th anniversary at the Little Rock Zoo. And we recently found out we were founded in 1924, not 1926. So the fact that you said that just launches off a great starting point for us today. So we were looking into some of our history recently, and there was an individual that used to work at City Hall who was a dear friend of mine. His name is Scott Carter. And if any of you out there know anything about uh, history buffs or you're into history, you've probably come across Scott Carter before. He used to have a blog. He, you're nodding your head over here. You know Scott. Oh. He was a history buff of city history here in Little Rock. Um, he's since moved out of state, where it's a huge loss for Little Rock. But one day, Scott, he, he sent me an email and he said, Susan, I've been doing some research for the city and I came across some articles about the Little Rock Zoo. And it looks like your birthday might be a little bit earlier than you thought. And it was eight different articles and they were all from 1924. And it turns out there was a zoo commission that was founded in 1924 by the then mayor, They established the zoo and they started construction on the site where the zoo is right now, which was then Fair Park. They were building exhibits. And guess what the first animal was? A giraffe. A snake. Oh. (laughs) (laughs) So, yeah. So we were founded in 1924 with a snake, which is not nearly as exotic. But that's okay. They then acquired a bear, which is not the circus trained bear. That came a little bit later. But there's an interesting, funny story in 1925, the then zoo director that they had and the public works director had to capture the bear because it got out of its cage and they had to get it, put it back in the cage. I can't imagine having to chase down a bear and get it back in its cage. Like, that's wild. I mean, you want to talk about- Well, people were tougher back then. uh, They (laughs) had to be. They probably did it with a stick. Well, let me tell you, I mean, just absolutely crazy. So there was a story about that from 1925. There's all kinds of interesting things. So just really interesting history that we're just now coming across. So here's what we're going to do. We've all this time thought that our founding was 1926, and we have been planning for the centennial for 1926. So we're going to do what Disney did. So Disney celebrated their 50th for three years. So we're going to celebrate our 100th for three years. So we're going to kick it off at the end of this year, and we're just going to celebrate for three years. So you're going to see us kick off our centennial at the end of this year in 2024, and we're just going to celebrate for a couple of years. That's how that's going to work. I love that. Yeah, Yeah, that's great. Why not? Gray, our Arkansas Flag and Banner anniversary is 50 years next year. Should we start celebrating now? Oh, yeah. Just make it a three year year (laughs) celebration. You might as well. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out the full interview on the right side of the screen. Want to see more of Carrie's interviews? Subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all of her latest shows. And as always, thank you for watching.